Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Katie and today is a mark pen kind of day. First of all, I just want to say thank you for being patient with me. I know I haven't uploaded much this week and it's been down to quite a few things. I've been building loads of furniture for the house we're in. We're finally in a position now where we can put furniture without the dog trashing it. And also, the cough I got back in December, or the cold, well, it's had a long-lasting legacy and I have had really bad, bad bronchitis from it. So, some days I've just not been able to really keep my voice under control. I have put out a couple of videos but it kind of had a bit of a relapse and but I'm guessing that I'm getting I've still got it but I have managed a few hours without coughing so I thought let's get this vo voice over done so today's subject is a ladybird or ladybug or whatever you want to call it and I have a reason for doing this so there is a group on Facebook which I follow and I will drop the link below and what they are called is inked and and basically it's just a really nice group where if you do drawings with ink you can upload it onto there and it's just a really nice community to share it with and they're really super useful and dead supportive around inktober so for those of us who may be having inktober withdrawal symptoms and they do do this every year they do a monthly prompt and I thought why not it's one a month I might be able to do another one but if, long, as long as I can just do one I'm totally cool with that and this month's one well this month's prompt was bug or bugs I think it's bug anyway I thought a ladybird not necessarily a bug if we're being scientific here because I do believe bugs or insects that suck things which sounds quite dodgy but you know that's the category they fall under I believe could be wrong let me know in the comments and while well, ladybirds don't really they don't really suck things do they they don't have like a stabby thing like and suck and oh that just sounds awful anyway because it's been called a ladybug in some parts of the world I thought that can be my um, my free pass for this one. And who does not like a ladybird or ladybug? I'm going to keep calling it a ladybird though because that's just what I know. So I thought using this newly discovered ink technique that I've been using a bit would be ideal for this. And just layering up with paler colours, slowly working towards darker colours seem to work out quite nicely. I'd also included the Pignata bottles of ink and they do have a rather fabulous gold and I just wanted to add that onto the ladybird shell because even though they are red and black if you really look up closely there's lots of other tones of colour in there they are quite beautiful beautiful little bugs well insects you know what I mean actually they're technically, technically beetles aren't they just to add a little bit of details here and there, I've used the liner pens and I've also used some water-based felt tips because I think they wouldn't spread as easily on the paper. I had absolutely chucked loads of alcohol on this, so the paper, as tough as it is, it's got a limit and certain inks will just keep travelling whereas the water-based ones kind of stay put. And let's not forget our favourite, the white gel pen, just to add them little white details on there. I absolutely adore how this came out and it kind of evoked some memories of being a little kid and going in the back garden with a matchbox, an empty one of course, and seeing how many ladybirds I could collect before setting them all free again. Because that's just what I did as a kid, I loved it and I, I just... I've carried it around for about five minutes and then let them all go again. Did anyone else used to do that? Anyway, back to it though. I'm really pleased with how this turned out and I might do another one, but I might not. I'm quite busy at the moment with a lot of things on at the moment outside of the arty stuff, so we'll see. 
anyway i just want to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this if you're new here don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy this video give me a thumbs up that would be great and i will see you on the next video see you soon peeps bye